losing time Hello beautiful people, how are you all doing? Hope you are doing great. You are welcome to Joyuzo TV. This is your first time stopping by, you are very welcome. In this video guys, I'm going to show you how I took the measurements for a full lace cap, like drawing the template and all that. If it sounds like something you are interested in, just keep watching. Okay guys, first I'm going to take my measurements from ear to ear. This is a medium size measurement. So my measurement from ear to ear was 11 and a half inches. Okay. While I will take at the back, at the back. So from the ear at the back to the other side of the ear, also 11 and a half inches. That is my ear to ear at the back and at the front measurement. So guys, I removed the elastic band and where you hook it to from this black uh, normal cap. You can also get the material like the elastic band and the hook that you, you, you tie on the elastic band that you sew to the elastic band. You can also get it from a tailoring shop, tailoring material shop. I will leave you some things that you can use. Just get them. The color of the of the cap of the lace you are using you can get it okay so this is the one i bought the full lace i bought i will be taking the measurement only the top you know we already took ear to ear then front to uh ear to ear measurement so only at the middle i'm going to take the measurement of this already made one which was given 9.5 inches as you can see there so then at the front of the top one to the back side was four inches also there is um folding like you fold it inside i will leave half inch for that but for the uh for the length i did not leave any inches any inch i did not add any inch okay so this is the one i will be using like i ordered a dark brown before but i could not get it on timing so i don't want it to look like i do not want to show you guys how i did it and i did not know that this my lace will be enough that was why so i said let me use this one so the ear to ear i added half inch for the two side which is 11.75 okay so this is the front the front part of it 11.75 uh, then by eight the length 11.75 because I added half inch to both. So if you divide half inch into two, I took half for the front part and half for the back part from half inch you get. So this is what we have. I'm going to fold it in half and cut the corner like the side to look like a frontal. You understand guys? So just that frontal shape, there's no measurement for that. All you need is to cut it to look like a fronter. That's just it. This for the front. Now that we are done with the front, I'm going to work on the back part. The back is also 11.75 by 8. You know the back was 11 and a half, but I added, uh, is it quarter or <laughs> I don't know, but well, I added from half inch, I divided half inch in half, one for the front and one for the back. So that's how I got the 11.75. So I also folded it in half, which is the 11.75 in half. Okay, so at the side of it, I'm going to take two inches. Okay, I'm going to measure two inches. Then from the side to the inside, which is the width, the length is two inches, while the width is 1.5. Just watch the video. I'm trying to still explain while you are watching it. If it's not clear enough, that's why I'm still explaining it. So from that 1.5, after cutting it, I will cut it from the two inches inside then from that one, 1.5, I will start curving it. Like it's going to look like a car. You get. So it will look like a car when 
cutting the back side this part that i'm cutting now is the top part of the cap the top of the cap okay We're broken, it's tragic, we're not all elastic, but maybe there's magic, believe you could have it, and I know Okay, I'm going to cut also the middle part that we measured earlier, which is 9.5 by 4.5. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to fold the 9.5 in half, as you can see in the video, the 9.5, you fold it in half. Then you now fold the 4.5, which is on the other side, in half again. Just watch what I'm showing. Then after folding it in half, at this uh, corner, at the side, not the, the part without space, you can see it, at the side. Okay, from the part that is not opened, I'm going to measure, you know I folded it, I'm going to measure 1.25. Like normally, if I open it, it's going to be 2.5. So I'm going to measure 1.25, which is because I folded it in half. So because I fold 2.5 in half, it will give me 1.25 ish, making it 2.5. Then the length where I'm going to start cutting from is 2 inches. Like the part I will start cutting, as you can see how I am demonstrating it. Because I took the measurement using the left hand side, so I want to take it again with the right hand so I can be able to cut it while you are seeing it. Normal 11, 1.25, uh, then 2 inches from the cutting. So you see it, I'm going to curve it while, like, cut, while cutting it, I will curve it to meet at that 1.25 inches okay you understand what i'm saying guys restlessness to hell and back what's my purpose what do i grab a slippery surface a heart attack and sometimes you just gotta believe there's something that'll give you relief so this is for the middle part of the of the cap okay for the middle then I'm going to also cut the one to cover the elastic band, which I did that off camera. It doesn't really matter, but it should be big enough to cover the elastic band so you don't sew through the elastic band while sewing it to the cap. Okay, so while, when you are cutting the lace, make sure the lace is laid vertically, then you put your your template like that like vertically so you can see how i placed the template you can use a paper to like a, ca a cardboard or so a paper anything this one is just a, a carton <laughs> indomie carton so i feel it is uh you will uh, save more lace when you just cut out the templates and you place it on the lace then you cut what you want you understand guys if you are still afraid of wasting your lace using this method that i just gave you now at least if you have Ankara at home, just try and do, even if it's Ankara full lace cap, and see if it will fit your head, if it will look like the uh, already made full lace. If you take your measurement on a paper and cut it out like this, you can make like five full lace cap from one yard lace like five and you will still have extra lace for up to like six or seven closures i will upload the video of sewing uh 
on how I sewed the the piece together okay because I did not want it to be too long although it was still <laughs> long sha but I want it to be something that you can understand what I'm doing in a way you can understand what I'm doing you can see that I did not really speed it up too much so you can understand guys start sewing start sewing your own full lace cap different sizes size medium size small size l start sewing start making money guys eh? no darling i i am telling you this is 100 percent like the way the cap is done the way it is done me you know me now i cannot hide anything from you guys when i get it i bring it to you if you found this video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Like, share and comment. Also like and follow my Facebook page. If you are a returning subscriber or a returning viewer, you guys are the boss. Thanks for always stopping by. I really appreciate your support. God bless you. Feel free to check out my other videos and I will see you in my next video. Love you.